Hello viewers, welcome to AudioVis 360. Today I have this Sony WF1000 XM4. So the problem here is, there is very less battery backup in these two earbuds. So we have to replace the battery of these two earbuds. So without wasting any time, let's start tearing this down. To tear this down, we have to heat this using hair dryer. Very mild heat, evenly we have to apply the heat here. So let me do that first. So after applying the heat, you can see this is coming out without damaging. We can just take apart these two pieces. It is pasted, there is no clip in this. So just, just by lifting like this, I'm coming showing you in close up. You can see there is a battery here. I am going to take out this battery and replace this with lithium polymer this battery so this is a clip here just i am praying it slowly here so this part has been removed so now i am going to keep this part separately you can just take out this there is a pasting to this battery the board is fixed to the battery i am just slightly Cutting out the glue here. It is always better to take out this flex cable so that it will be easy for you to replace the battery. But here I am without taking the battery, trying to lift this. So the pasting has come out. You can see the pasting has come out. I don't want to put extra effort to take that because I have this. I have the access to take out the battery here, you can see. Now I am going to just slowly lift the battery from this place. You can see battery is coming out. It is pasted at the bottom. So the battery has come out. So this is the battery here, Z55H, Zeni power, usually these headphones has a Volta battery but in this case it is Zeni power Z55H and this is not common in India. So if it is available it is very expensive. So I am going to use this battery instead of this button battery. So this is the lithium polymer battery which I am going to fix in this earbuds. So let's check the voltage here. So I have set the meter to 20 volts DC. First let's, let's check this battery. So the battery voltage is 2.89. This is very less the, because of the weak battery. Now let's see this new battery. You can see the voltage is 3.95 volts. So this is very good and the backup of this battery is also very excellent even you can follow the same steps to replace the battery if you want to buy this battery do message to this above whatsapp number you can pay and buy this battery there is no cash on delivery all right now i am going to install this battery in this earbud coming closer here so you can see there are two terminals here one is one is positive negative is here the positive is the this one you can see this is the positive so i'm just going to use little bit of paste and solder here and i'm going to connect that two cables to this battery be careful if you change the polarity the earbuds will go it will be bad now i'm going to apply little bit of paste here to solder little bit of lead and to the minus and plus terminal this is the plus so I am going to use thin soldering here. Alright. Now I am going to solder here. Done. Now the other part, other side. So both sides soldering has been done. 
now it's time to connect these two cables i am going to use these cables this is harvested from headphone this is coated so this even if this touches it will not short circuit so very least without any worries we can use these cables you can also harvest from any used earphones wired earphones so red i am going to use for plus and the green one is for minus now i am going to take out this separately let's check the polarity of the battery before connecting the wires based on the color so the left one is plus and the black one right one is minus so left one i am going to connect with this wire like this and the green one here now we have to insulate this battery so let me do that first so to insulate the battery i'm going to use this insulation tape which is used to insulate the battery only so let me cut this a piece cut this with a small piece now the battery is completely insulated and wrapped so now i am going to connect this red with positive terminal and the green with negative terminal so let me solder that now you can see the green is connected to the top part and the red is connected to the bottom part that's it without any worries we can simply keep this battery here place the battery properly now i have placed the battery now i'm just keeping a small insulator here for safety reasons that's it this is more than enough it has been placed properly now it's time to just connect this if you see this is big challenge but you have to place it to the proper position and just press click sound will come that's it now it's time to just close this earphone uh, ear pod so to close this i'm going to use t7000 here this t7000 so this is again it will waterproof the headphone ear pod so like this you have to replace the battery of this bud so i am going to replace the battery of the other side as well and i will come back to show you the demo quickly all right i have changed the battery of the other side as well now these are the two batteries which i have removed so now it's time to pair the headphones just keeping out so it is connected as you can see here it's already showing 80% here 80% fully charged so still it has to be charged now let me show you the demo directly using my studio mic so now this has become brand new battery backup as well so this has become brand new and the battery backup will be 100 out of 100 so let me put this in the case here so all right thanks for watching the video if you like the video please do like share subscribe to audio with 360 and hit that notification bell icon and write comment in the comment section below if you subscribe it will motivate me to make more of like this video thanks for watching bye